taking the bumper off my L462 Discovery, which is a 17 to 22 big body. Um, it's pretty easy so far. You're just gonna have to put your finger in here, pull on the fender flare. It'll pull out of its first tab, and then just gently put, move your hand up, pull here. There's one more tab that will release. From there, we have one Phillips head screw, another Phillips head screw. Remove both of those. There's a Phillips head screw here on the bottom, and there's another one here in the back. Remove those two, the, the rug becomes loose, and then you can get at this plastic clip right here. Pop that up, remove it, and then from there, you just give a nice little college tug on the old bumper here. I removed my lower valance because I don't have to cut it for the hitch. You don't have to do that. Um, you will need to remove these upper panels. There's a plastic tab, plastic tab, and then a plastic popper screw, the little yellow guy at the bottom. So if you just start up here and gently pull, it'll release from there. Sorry, I get a phone call every time I make a video. I hate it. Um, so anyways, where the hell was I? Yeah, you put your hand in here, pull it out, release it from those two tabs, and then you'll see this exposed. You're going to just pop that clip. And then this is the final holder, the final boss, and then you just pull it back and it comes right out. And that's how you remove those two pieces without breaking them. You don't have to remove the reflector or anything. Once you do all that, again, you just pull the bumper out. It's just held on by these little pop clips in this bumper bracket. So you're just gonna all give her one of those and then it pops out all the way across the top. Move that, and that should do it. So I'm gonna pop this off and we'll go for the next step. All right, so the top ones are held in by a series of clips all the way across the top here. What you're gonna wanna do is start at one end, find it with the little pry tool, pry while you pull, pry while you pull, pry while you pull, pry while you pull, and then it'll just pop off, and that's it. So now that she's completely off, you had to unplug this one harness here from the girls. The tow hitch plugs are right there, which is very nice. They have little delete or blockers in there so crap doesn't get in them so this should all be pretty plug and play um let's see it's gonna be these big bolts right here one there i don't know if you can see that one one there this one's gonna be a good time because this whole bumper bracket's in the way so i might have to drop this whole reflector bracket deal um one one Weird they don't use the two lower bolts. One and one. Yeah. I wonder what the hell I can do to get in there. Damn. Ah, I really don't feel like taking this off. Just a bunch of 10 millimeters all the way across. Whatever. Alright. What's this? What holds this thing on? A lot. A lot holds this on. It's really just the corners, actually, that got to come off. Which is these series of tens. Of course, they bury one in there. Hey, Jim, you got the impact? Yeah, I'll get all these off the impact. Oh, wait a minute. All right, whatever. All right, so I removed the factory back push bar deal there and these little mounts. So... As you can see, there's two holes there, and there's two holes there, and that passes through this. So all I did, they're very long bolts. It's a 18 millimeter bolt head, and then the nut is like a 21, I believe. But basically this thing just goes in here like so. You remove the two upper bolts. There's two bolts underneath at this exhaust tip. So I had to bend down the heat shield to expose it. There's one, there's two. Same thing on the other side, pulled straight out. That was that. I'm gonna slide that thing in in a minute. So she said, or asked for, actually. I am going to just push these plug ends in, remove these covers, so that way when I walk the hitch over, which the hitch has, the already, already has the other two connections on there, as you can see, I'll just plug those in first, slide this deal in, and then reinstall the bolts and hopefully be good to go. So I'm gonna do that right now. All right, so I ended up having to take off the upper bumper bracket, which is just held on by a bunch of 10 millimeter screws. So I hit that with my little Milwaukee Impact real quick, and then I slid the bar in. Sorry, little hiccups from the uh, Girl Scout cookies. You gotta remove the harness from that, 
which uses a little clip tool. So I pop that off, and then you have to put the bar on. Of course, I do everything twice. So I put the bar on, and then I realized the harness was under here. It needs to be above it. So I had to pull this side back out, move this bracket a little bit, slip the harness through, and then the harness just quick connects back into one, two, held in like so, and then she's freewheeling. I can plug into my reflector again, and I can put this bracket back on. Um, don't forget to plug in your tow deals. So there's plug one. There it is. Come on. Plug two. You hear a nice little click there. And that part of it is done. So now I'm just going to put this back on. Clip the harness back in place so it's held up. Um, it looks like I do need to get a few more bolts from the old Land Rover dealer. Because it looks like, yes, they will be used. So I'm not excited about that. I'm going to call and see if they have them in stock. So I can just go pick them up. Or actually, you know what? I should just go to the hard on wear store. Yeah. That is what I will do. And I'll see if they have these. Alright, so yeah, you gotta go to the hardware store and you gotta get two more of these bolts if your truck did not come with them. I have this weird feeling maybe mine was pushed in from the back and they forgot to put two bolts in, but I could be wrong. So, alright, to be continued. Alright, so I take my statement back. These two bolts that you pull out from just above, let me zoom out of here, just above the exhaust tip, there's two that go up there that I initially told you you have to use to remove that bar, which I did. So these are actually going to go back into this bar to make this one complete. Now the bad news is there's two bolts that go all the way up and through. These are too long and the threads are too small, and these are way too short and the threads are wrong. So... It's got to be a fatter bolt from Land Rover. The good news is I can just crawl under this girl anytime I want, flap these up and down, and I can put the bolts through. I'm still going to tow with it like that because that's just how I do. But I would probably want those two bolts in there if you were to tow, say, 8,000 pounds or so like these are rated for. So I'm going to call Land Rover. I'll get the bolts for that, and I will update the description with those. So my maiden voyage towing. Here we are, I picked up my trailer. I don't know what this thing weighs, probably 1,500 pounds if I had to guess, maybe 2,000, I don't know. I got a full rear diff on here from an F-150. Electric rack, front spindles, trans, transfer case, converter, my winch, my toolbox full of crap. I ordered my valance from Land Rover, so that'll be in soon, but she's all hooked up, plugged in, the lights work, the electric brakes work, my brake controller works. It's not really squatting. I mean, my truck's coil springs, so squatting a little bit, but nothing crazy. But so far, so good. I'm sure with air suspension, it would be sitting flush, but she is what she is. But it works out. So I was going to go bring this to Land Rover to get it programmed, but it looks like I don't need to do that at all, actually, because everything works. So saved you a few bucks. All right, so it's on. I didn't clip the little screws in on the bottom, so it's sitting out a little bit. Bad news is it doesn't match at all. That's bright silver. This is, I don't know, anthracite. But the guy on the phone told me this was the lighter color and not the anthracite. So, uh, yeah. So I'll probably get that wrapped or painted, gloss black or white. And then I'm definitely going to buy the little exhaust tip pieces. Because I hate how smooth and round it makes the back look. It's like a little bathtub action. And then I also stand corrected. These bolts are 100% correct. So kudos to the parts guy. Part number is LR097372. You will need four of these, two for each side, if you're putting a tow package on your truck that did not have it originally. So I'm going to install these bolts. And like I said, they're very easy to do after the fact. Um... You don't have to drop the bumper or take it all back apart again. You literally just pull the flap down, this heat shield, and then you can install the two bolts right there and just send it home. And that will complete today's lesson. Last mod for the Discovery, straight from China, which is cool, appreciated. Thank you for the cheap price. I got the fake exhaust tip. Ever since I changed the lower valance, didn't match, drove me nuts. I have to peel the last bit of shrapnel out of the discovery letters. I also did 
these side jobs. They came out okay. I'll probably redo them with wrap, but these are easy to install. I'll show you. Just get rid of the old pole here. Oh, yeah. 